Kylie Jenner demands cancellation of Stormy Couture um, trademark over fraud claim. She has accused Business Moves Chiefs of registering the name just a month after her daughter's birth in a bid to cash in on the name. She welcomed her first child, Stormy Webster, in February 2018, and she recently filed paperwork with officials at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to secure the rights to a number of brands related to her little girl's name, including Stormy Ward. However, he, um, she was slapped with a lawsuit from Business moves consulting bosses who claimed her trademarks if granted would cause confusion with their own stormy couture label now jenna is accusing them of registering stormy couture just a month um, after her daughter's birth in bid to cash in according to tmz she is demanding authorities withdraw the trademark permits for um, the brand name citing fraud um, at first, I was thinking maybe Kylie Jenner was being a little bit too extra, okay. but when I now realized that BMC, which is the um, business move um, consult consultancy, or what yeah, is it? Yeah, they 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 actually did the same with Assad, uh, which is DJ Khaled's son and DJ Khaled's father, and the case is still ongoing. So it's like wow. it's part of their business move actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand? What is a business actually? <laughs> yeah. So and the case is still ongoing. So I was like, okay, so maybe she has every right to actually, but. But before business moves even said she wanted to cancel anything Stummy mm -hmm. because Stummy in her own right too is a brand with a Stummy World party. But mm -hmm. how many has she done? She's two now, right? So I think she's just done one. Or I get even one still though is a lot because of how much publication yeah. that they give. But I t I still think this smells to me like a very like. I always, I always criticize celebrities Egoistic. a lot here, but this is another celebrity problem that I can't stand. First of all, you're not the only Stormy. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand that you're giving... What's the girl who called um, Donald Trump, the the um, stripper? Stormy as well, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Actually, mm. Um... Hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, I understand that you have given a brand sense because you're a celebrity and all of that stuff, but the idea that nobody else can coin that name to use it for theirs is ridiculous to me. Um, and that's just personal opinion. But speaking on the law, my problem is that do you want them to revoke this name and give it to you? Because then that for me is a problem, even by legal standards. Just because this person has claimed this in, quote, in, your, in your words, bad faith, does not mean that you have the right to, to earn and own every trademark that has Stormy involved mm. in it. Like, that's crazy. So that's kind of like where I'm stuck in, in between that. When you were filing this thing, because I already saw the list of trademarks that she has, like, it's crazy. Stormy party. Stormy, stormy. Stormy. Like, there's a lot of trademarks in regards mm -hmm. to Stormy, stormy. stormy. Stormy's name. And, and, and I have to agree when you mentioned the statement that it is business. Like, even if they made, they saw that, oh, wow, this person's name is getting attraction. I'm just going to grab Stormy. What's the word that they were even fighting for? Stormy Couture. Stormy Couture. If they're doing that, what's the problem with that? Like, that, that's something that Chris would do. If Chris saw that there was something like trend or whatever and she could trademark it and had the, the power and the money and the influence to do that, why why not? Mm. So it's crazy, you know what I mean? But um, let's see what the law says. Like, you reiterated this business as far as I'm concerned. This is why when you're bringing out a business solution or an idea, before you even start speaking to anyone, you're advised to even buy like your it. domain name, yeah. register it, patent it if you want mm -hmm. to go that far and all that. So I know know there are people who deliberately buy up domain names waiting mm -hmm. for you to come True. and get them True. and you pay that is a form of business except the whole world is going to wake up tomorrow and say that's now illegal if you're not um, readily um, going to use a particular name you cannot patent it or trademark mm -hmm. it or copyright it whatever it is then maybe there's a conversation but I would like to see I, I like that he cited the as, 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 Asad, Asad, Asad right I like mm -hmm. that he started his case and it's still where that is ongoing till now mm -hmm. so it's just, it just goes to show that even the judges are humans as well and they're mm -hmm. wondering okay Okay, so what do we do at this point? I would like to see how this plays out, but based on what the law is right now, what people have been doing for a long time, mm -hmm. I don't think she has a case here, whether it's with bad intentions. The bad intention is to make money. I mean, when did they're making money become bad That's intentions? It's a business move. So, like, yeah. I don't know. And so, also, um, while we're on this topic, I may just like to trademark. I have the fair name, so anything she comes up with fair in the future is Have mine. you trademarked it? Is I, it by I, just said, <laughs> I just said it publicly. That's not how you trademark it. You're supposed to be the lawyer on table. I'm just choking, shake obviously. It, shake it again. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to mention because I remember we actually did this in, in, in like uni and stuff and even the idea of patency and copywriting is quite um, what's the word it has a back end to it like it's an incomplete 
theology, even in copywriting it, people mm. still have struggles, especially when it comes to like ownerships of ideas or inventions or things like that. I just want to put that out there that already they maybe that's why it's that long because it's hard. It's a very like wishy washy type of system. But I want to say this before we go to the next topic that I think in Africa, let me just concentrate on Africa on Nigeria here. We need to start doing that a lot more. I don't have I don't see companies mm. trademarking they having do. copy not they as do, they not do. as much, they especially do. in the um, they and do. The government they, comes they for you don't now. Have, they don't just have the time to start pursuing anybody until they see yeah. that you're making huge money for me. No, I'm not even talking about trademarking yeah, their they names. Do. Yeah, they do. All the, the, all oh, the creatives, personal yes, names. Yes, because all the creatives I know, like, that are huge, I have perfumes, and especially the arts, the art scenes, people who have, like, um, short film, there's a short film documentary thing, um, lady that I know. Like, there's so many people. Even when I saw them, they didn't patent their names. It's Genevieve. Mm. So now you have Genevieve Magazine, you have Genevieve Dish, yeah. you have Genevieve Dad, but I think she has worked so hard um, with that name that if mm -hmm. she had actually trademarked mm -hmm. it or owned it, then it's Yeah, it's I feel like it's a lot of so individuals lot of that are not doing right. that. I need yeah. to present LC, right? Yeah, you should. Okay. I just did with the facial public knowledge. I will go back to my lawyers. My lawyers will hear from me. Okay. Oh, okay. I used to think you were your only lawyer, but it's okay.